All right, guys, so welcome back to the part number six. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you that how we can delete the record. And uh, this part is the last part, hopefully, and you will learn about how to delete. And plus, I want to explain to you how we can uh, manage the routes in a very better way. So we don't need to reusability. We can re reduce the complexity of repeating the same thing. So, so first, uh, go inside your VS Code. And uh, I need to define here um the first we have to look for the environment so so environmental variables are inside your source app and there we go we have our environments and we have to go inside our environment.ts file all right so by default the production is false right so that means that once your web when once your application on the on the on the production level you have to make that true but right now we have to define here the simple URL for our service. So we don't need to repeat the local host, port numbers, and slash API. So things which we are keep repeating. So we need to define here with the variables. So let's define here a variable with the name of API URL and HTTP colon double slash localhost and colon 3000 and slash API, right? So this is basically the base URL. And if you see, if I just copy that and go inside my service, which should be inside my service folder and paste it, and you see the, that that's which is keep repeating. So in order to avoid that, I'm gonna select it all and uh, remove it from here. So press Control F2 and just remove that, right? And let's bring here the environment. So environment and uh, so basically this environment should be coming from the uh, it automatically import here so import environment and the, and the root for that and next we have to define here the api url right so that's it if i just try to save it and actually i need to concatenate that too so just want to again select that and right after here i'm going to just simply press plus to concatenate that right that's fine all right, so if I go back to the VS Code, those so things are working. So data is populating and we can also add the employee. Let's add here test at the rate gmail.com. One, two, three, submits that. Yeah, so it's working, edit. Just want to make that 199, whatever. So submits that, go back and yeah. So now everything is working fine. Now last thing that we are left with is the delete. So let's go inside our app employee.component.html file. All right, so, so basically these are all the listing that should be inside my employees. And there we go, so employee.component.html. So we have to define here an event, which is the click event. So it should be in the round bracket. So let's define it, click equal to, and create here a method with the name of delete data. So just like we passed the ID, and here we have to pass inside the parameter, so employ dot underscore ID, right? And we have to define that method inside our component, uh, inside our TypeScript file. So just underneath the get employees data, we have to define here a method. So delete data, and let's pass here the ID. And in order to check the ID for each individual row, so we first just alert that so you guys could see. So if I click on here, so it has its own ID. So every single row has its own unique ID, right? So on based off ID, we are gonna delete the record, All right? So we have to define, once I want to delete something, I need to define here a service, which is known as toast service. So let's first define that. So import and T-O-A-S-T-R service. And that should be coming from the from the ngx dash toaster and we have to define that inside the constructor so private and toaster and let's define the toaster service all right that's fine okay so we define that and uh, we have to define the uh, uh, the service api for the deletion so let's go inside your service and employ dot service dot ts and we have to delete it so just underneath the, the uh, update data, we have to define here delete data. So it should be here to delete data. And we have to pass here the ID. And I just want to grab the uh, from the get data by ID almost identical to that. Uh, but the only difference is that we are not using here the uh, 
the get request we are using the delete right so everything remains the same all right so let's go and remove this so this dot and the name of the service which is the employee service dot delete data we are get, actually deleting the data on base of id so we pass up here and now we have to subscribe and get the response so let's go here it should be response whatever you want to give it the name but better is to give the response name res and right inside here i need to define here the once it's deleted i need to show the data so make sure if i just give it this dot data bring this data inside your uh, which comes automatically in my case so you can because i've installed the extension so if it's not in your case you can define here data with the any so this dot data equal to response and with the help of that should be equal to now with the help of that we are able to get the toaster message so this dot toaster get the access for the object so i'm going to define here error which actually means that it's in the red color if you're using toaster uh, so error means that it's red color and and success means it's green color however it's looking a little weird but just want to show the red color just because so we can understand yeah we are deleting all right so it's all up to you you can give it the success so it's all of you right so json dot stringify in order to get the access for the object so we have to define this dot data dot code and uh, we are also getting another um, response from the uh, from the node api message and so let's define json dot stringify this dot data dot message all right so the last thing that we are left with is the uh, we are left with is the the timeout so yeah, i just want to give it the time of 1000 and we can also give it the progress bar so make that to be true all right so and just after that we have to call the function once we are deleting we are getting the employees data all right so let's save it and if i go back to the browser first look for the inspect everything looks fine now if i try to delete that and now employee is deleting successfully all right so you guys not only learn about the crowd operation but you learn about also other stuff like reactive forms validators and the message how we can if we can get the response from the node api and we can show on the angular application so there are a lot of stuff that you guys learn in, in this complete crash course right so if you guys really love this video so don't don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video so i'm going to create more videos like that so if you really love this so keep subscribing and the credit which you guys can give me is just sharing this video right so thank you guys for watching this complete series and if you really love so please kindly don't forget and i want to see you in the next coming video